acoustic guitar and delay. Does it really go together or will it never work? Let's find out. So I've never really managed to make a delay work for me with using my acoustic guitar. I always felt like I should have it on my pedal board, but I've never really been able to get on with it. Maybe I just don't have the right delay pedal or I don't know, maybe it's just not for me. So I want you to join me in this experiment and I've recorded a little session just now using my delay pedal and some other pedals and we're gonna listen to each little section of what I recorded and I'm gonna kind of talk about it and explain what's going on. The delay pedal I used is the Electro Harmonics Echo One. This has been out for a while, but it's a pretty classic digital delay pedal. All right, so we're gonna have a listen to the first clip now. Excuse the headphones, but I need to put them on to have a listen to it. Uh, all right, so we're gonna play that now. And this is literally just, I just turn the pedal on and start playing and I kind of experiment around with literally just the pickup going straight in to the Echo One. Yeah, so that right there is uh, a, a classic example of how delay is used a lot and it's used for a rhythmical kind of sense. So you have the tempo of the repeats kind of going along with the same rhythm as what you're playing. And that's fine, but I always feel a bit restricted when I do that. So I have to be on this certain rhythm and I feel, yeah, it kind of restricts what I want to do. It doesn't allow me to 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 kind of do whatever I want to do at the moment. And I feel here that it was a little too long. The the feedback was a little too long. Um, so this one here. So the feedback is how many times it repeats. So uh, yeah, I think I I kind of shorten that down and make it a bit shorter for the next clip. Let's have a listen to the next one. Yeah, so that's a bit better, but it's still too in your face for me, for my liking. Um, so I actually decide to put a, a, a reverb on it and I choose this reverb here, the Strymon Blue Sky, and this is one of my favorite reverb pedals. Um, so I just stick this after the delay. Um, and that's something that um, is quite interesting because it, it, it kind of gives you an an interesting sound. We'll have a listen to it now.
All right, yeah, so the reverb has made everything sound way too distant now. Everything's kind of sitting on the bottom of the sea, which would be fine if it was like, if I was trying to get a very ambient sort of sound. Um, but for anything else, it's just kind of way too distant and there's, there's no clarity in anything. So uh, what I do is actually take off the reverb now, uh, just for now and just have the delay running through the pickup. But then I add an external microphone and I add a, a Neumann KM184 uh, to the mix and kind of blend those two. And let's have a listen to what that sounds like now. So we've got the clarity back now, um, but I feel it's still kind of too in your face a little bit for my liking. Uh, noticed I shortened the delay time and the feedback time here. So the delay time is how long that section of your playing it takes. So the recording or the copy that it takes. Um, so I, I shorten that for this one and and the feedback as well. And I'm not playing to the tempo of the delay anymore. So I'm having it just kind of a bit more free in the background. Um, this, is, uh, this is what I prefer because I feel it less restricting. So here I decide to add the reverb back in just after the delay pedal. Um, and let's have a listen to what that sounds like with the external microphone. Yeah, so I really like the sound of delay and reverb together, especially if you don't have such a powerful reverb like the Blue Sky, you know, you can make the reverb sound really immense and rich and just go on for a lot longer because you've got that delay pedal kind of driving the signal through. But the reverb is still sounding really overpowering to me. Um, so I decide, I change two things. I decide to change the reverb pedal. So I go from a, a Strymon Blue Sky to an Electro Harmonics Hall of Fame Mini. Um, this is a really nice little handy reverb pedal. And I just have this on my pedal board just in case I want to add a touch of reverb to a signal chain. Um, and it's really come in handy a lot. Um, so this is a really nice little reverb pedal. Um, I changed this up and I put it, I just have a simple reverb on there and I put it up full. And the second thing I do is I add a volume pedal. So with this, I'm able to bring in and out the delay and reverb whenever I like. And so the external mic is kind of driving the main sound of the guitar. But when I want to add a little bit more texture to the sound of the delay and reverb, I can just kind of bring that in and out at certain moments when I'm feeling it. So I'm using it a little bit like an expression pedal, but it's just a volume pedal going through the delay and reverb. So this is an interesting way of doing things and it's all a bit of an experiment. So we'll have a listen now to what that sounds like.
yeah, so I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Um, I mean, it's very, very subtle in the end. You can barely hear the delay, really. Um, and I probably could have done the same thing uh, just using the Strymon Blue Sky, potentially. But I really enjoy doing these little experiments. Uh, this is a bit of a new style of, of video, so let me know what you think about this, this kind of new way of experimentation and then listening back to it live with me. Uh, I quite enjoy this, but... Um, yeah, it's, you know, we've got to do these little experiments sometimes and uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But I'm quite happy with that sound. Uh, maybe I'll do some more experiments like this with different kinds of effects. But I really enjoy using this style of blending the external mic with the pickup and with the effects going through the pickup and the the microphone kind of driving the sound and then the, the, the pickup kind of bringing in and out with the with the volume pedal um, it adds another layer of expression in a way um, and texture to the sound thank you so much for hanging around and listening with me let me know what you think does acoustic guitar actually go with delay in the end I don't know maybe I don't know if I really answered the question but it was fun to do this video also let me know if you use delay or any other effects with your acoustic guitar, I'd love to know. Thank you so much, and I will see you very soon.